With the rapid development of the internet-based economy, China is embracing a trend of mass innovation and entrepreneurship. Young business people are driving a wave of startups, which have become an important engine for growth. The Internet Plus initiative is driving a big data revolution in China. The mobile internet means more efficiency and convenience. It offers various functional choices to the public, and it could bring high efficiency to every aspect of life. The concept was first presented by Premier Li Keqiang in March this year, which aims to encourage the healthy development of e-commerce, industrial networks, and internet finance. Over time, we see the trend changing. You're going to likely see that China would define how future. E-commerce and internet activities are developed because now you look at the, some of the largest players in the sector. You see the Chinese firms like Alibaba, like Baidu, like WeChat. You will see likely that new business models will be developed in China first and tested in the in the global market over time. The Internet Plus initiative is part of China's wider effort to stimulate the economy, which in turn helps drive a new wave of innovation and entrepreneurship. The initiative will stimulate talented entrepreneurs. It will ignite their passion and creativity to explore more specialized and functional products that can well serve the public. As more talents join the internet sector, economists say it will not only be a boon for China's economy but also for the world. We will see China playing a very important leading role in developing future development of the internet sector, and I'm very pleased that the U.S. investors and U.S. general public are realizing this、uh, trend also. So I'm hopeful that、uh, in the coming years we will see more capital and uh, uh, more demand coming from beyond China, and that in turn would help China to develop a stronger sector that would、uh, in turn benefit the whole world. Official figures show China had 668 million internet users by the end of June of this year, about half of the country's population.